The sunny Zurich was the home of the Third International Goalkeeper Congress. Guests from around the world came to Switzerland this year to participate in the event. The theoretical part of the Congress was held at the Sonnenberg Convention Center, the former home of FIFA. Goalkeeping greats like Belgian Jean-Marie Pfaff, the Swiss Jörg Stiel and Lutz van Stiel from Germany talked about their experiences and wanted to pass on their knowledge. And there was huge international media interest. One of the things that I saw at the recently held World Cup was that goalkeepers made some harsh mistakes. And one of the reasons could have been the new ball. But it's also a fact that if you have a preparation of 4 or 5 weeks, then you have enough time to get accustomed to a new ball. Have you received any feedback from the goalkeepers on the topic of artificial turf? Yes. I could speak to a few goalkeepers and I got the feedback that we had hoped for. With a lot of resources being spent on the development of artificial turf, its acceptance is also rising. Besides discussing artificial turf, there was also a lecture by Franz Stegner, the company chief of Stechert, who amongst other things produced modern day stadium seats. Dann nehme ich den goldenen Mittelweg, weil es ist tatsächlich so, du kannst ja bei jeder Schule machen und der goldene Mittelweg habe ich jetzt immer gut. Hi, am I speaking to Grant? Yes. Hi, this is Arnaud Chaudhry calling from Zurich from the International Goalkeeper Congress. Hi, how are you? I'm doing fine, I'm doing fine. I am the goalkeeper. The just concluded 2010 FIFA World Cup was one of the key topics on the gulf in goalkeeper performances at the tournament and the much talked about World Cup ball Javulani. Ja, liebe Freunde, ähm, des, des Fahrradspiels. Ich freue mich, dass ich äh, in diesem Jahr wieder hier sein darf. Day two was about practical experiences. And on a hot summer day, finally everyone could get onto the artificial pitch. So we will have basically few coaches which will bring different kind of things into the session today. I will do a few exercises, so we will do a few exercises with Thomas. Thomas will do hopefully a few exercises and then we're just having a look at other things as well. What the guys from Turkey bring for example, so we just, or our friends from Switzerland, just everybody should bring in a few little different things and then I think we all just discuss it afterwards. Why are we doing it? How are we doing it? Why we shouldn't do it? And the catch. Modern goalkeeper training was the curriculum of the day, but not everything worked on the first try. <laughs> that's what I mean. That's, that's what I mean. One more time. Very easy. But with a little practice, they did achieve their goals. So now, now you see what I mean. It looks like something impossible he can do. New technology and training methods were tried out by the goalies and goalkeeper coaches who wanted to learn as much as possible, while goalkeeper instructors showed how certain methods could be used in training. Hold off, 10, 20 times. So now use left, right, left, right. Like Jean Marie said, that is how you keep your balance. Look how he works basically with his ass muscles in the back. Okay, now. Please. No, he didn't actually. 
Sorry, I can't do it wrong. <laughs> okay, this is okay. Look at where it's like this. Oh, no. About a bit, a bit, a bit faster. The, the idea about this ball is to come and scoop it up. This movement. See the discussion actually was not before like like it's now. I mean the World Cup did a bit of harm to the reputation of goalkeepers internationally. Um, I mean there was different issues. I mean playing in a high altitude, 1,850 meters on a Monday, on a Wednesday you're playing at sea level, makes it difficult for the keepers. Now with the new ball, a very modern ball, a very fast ball, a very unpredictable ball, made every single ball a challenge for the goalkeepers. So. The goalkeepers kind of like got a little bit intimidated by all these circumstances, but overall we saw lots of mistakes, but we also saw good, very, very good performances. This was the third International Goalkeeper Congress 2010 from Zurich, and hopefully we will see you next time. Till then.